The purpose of this video is to provide an introduction to the BOP screen. Navigate to the BOP screen by clicking the Well Control button. Then by clicking the BOP button. We will start by breaking down the screen into various important elements. The main elements on the BOP screen are as follows. The accumulator controls, the gallon counter, the hold to activate button, the minimap, and the BOP controls. When the pump is running, accumulator pressure increases until the set point is reached. The indicator light also turns green, showing that the pump is running. To set the manifold pressure, click the manifold pressure button. Use the keypad to enter the desired value. To set the annular pressure, click the annular pressure button. Use the keypad to enter the desired value. Select the desired pod with the pod toggle. You can also vent the pods by functioning the blue or yellow pods vent controls. Reset the gallon count by pressing the gallon counters zero button. Next, let's go over the hold to activate button. Press and hold the activate button until the text in the center of the button changes to activated. When the button is released, the color changes from gray to red. During this time, the BOP controls are active. While the hold to activate button counts down, a single click will reset the six second counter and keep the BOP controls active. I will now function the BOP to its normal drilling position. If the BOP is too big for the screen, click and drag up or down anywhere in the BOP controls area. This will allow you to view the other controls of the BOP. The other option is to click and drag the BOP's minimap. This concludes the tutorial for the BOP panel. Thanks for watching.